Hello, Captain. I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Transport Fever Peninsula, take two. And I, I was going to play Fords a little bit to try and get this shipping line uh, run in. This is one shipping line, and as we zoom out, you'll see that the ships uh, are moving in a rather, well, an armada-like fashion. Uh, I deployed ten of them to, to kind of uh, jumpstart a bit of food production. Uh, but I thought that this, this opening gambit here was really rather something. Because uh, obviously they've only just left the the, the shipyard, and they're, they're, I mean they're all taking whatever route it feels like. I mean, look, that one's that one's going over that way. This one's going over like this. These two have decided to take an entirely different route. I don't, I'm, I'm perplexed, friends, as to what exactly they're up to. But they're having a rare old time, even if they are going to the wrong end first. Uh, in fact, what I should probably do around about now would be to uh, select this one and go. Why don't you go the other way? Yeah, yeah, that would that would be a solid idea, and you go the other way as well, and then we'll turn around another three. Uh, yep, we'll turn you around and you, and this one. Uh, why those ones in particular? Well, I want a I want a good spread of uh, of ships going in in each direction so that we get some spacing going on from the get go. So I don't mind that half of them are going to end up in the wrong place. And then the other half are going to end up in the right place. But some of them will be in a place. And others will be in a different one. Yes, there's the thing. Right, I'm going to play forward a little bit now. And get it to uh, a stage where something is going on. And then we'll pick up the action. Okay, picking up the action rather a long time after I'd planned to. And this here ship right here is the first one carrying food that's actually going to arrive. Uh, considering uh, if you were to back up by a couple of minutes, you would notice that it was 1870. It's now 1883. It has taken the best part of 15 years to get the first ship to arrive with any freight at all. And what we're about to find is just how much this is worth to me. Now, the good news is that there is a flotilla of 12 ships. I bought another two to try and get things right. 680 grand. That's not bad at all. Okay, all right, yeah, that's acceptable. Um, yeah, there, I mean, there's a big flotilla on its way. I and mean, as you can see, there's, well, okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. Here you go, see, look, they're, they're all spread out a bit. And they'll all have a couple of items of, uh, of freight on there. And as you can see, we've got some more. Uh, actually, I'm zoomed really far out. Uh, as you can see, we have some more waiting uh, to be picked up now. So, yeah, it's generally going the right way. Now, if we build up, build up the uh, Profitron here... Uh, you'll see that for the last couple of years, we've been bringing in between 350 and 600 grand in terms of profit, which is okay when you consider that so far we've been carrying uh, 400 grand in running costs on shipping. We've made nothing from shipping at all. And so I've been carrying 400,000 a year in extra cost and getting nothing back for it at all. And that's before you start to think about, well, actually, you've got all the associated costs of the trucks and all of that kind of business going on as well. So to have turned the corner here and uh, and just brought in 600 grand, and I don't know how many of them will get to dock per year, but I would imagine it would be a few. Then, uh, then I think we might be in business. Now, one of the other things that while I was, I mean, I've, I've just been sat here watching it going, really, am I that perilously close to this whole thing just not working? What's going on here? Uh, I'd, I've replaced my stagecoaches uh, with uh, Obisons, as you can plainly see, although it's obviously slower than the trucks that are running on the same road, which is a bit... Uh, a bit disappointing. Um, yeah, I've been poking around at possibly replacing the train because it causes me massive amounts of, well, I mean, the bridge, massive amounts of discomfort, just looking at the bridge, and then uh, the speed of it going uphill here is just woeful. Uh, so I was looking at maybe replacing it with something a little bit more punchy. I've got quite a few steam trains to choose from now. Um, or... Uh, improving the bridge, not necessarily to remove the wiggle, although obviously we want to do that. Uh, more about um, 
dec decreasing the uh, the angle of attack that it's doing uphill. I've also looked at uh, potentially replacing the oil wagons with the lighter version. Uh, I forget who it was, but someone in the comments pointed that out to me last time around. Thank you for that. None of them have been practical, uh, or rather none of them have been uh, actionable because I don't have the cash for it. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do there. Now, I've, I've been working the debt down in that way that I regularly do, um, but we're still six and a half million in debt out of 10 million. So I've got three and a half million in the slush fund. Oh, we've obviously just had another ship arrive. That's good. Well, let's... Let's pay it down another one while we're still just sticking around here. Um, and uh, and the, the other big change, of course, is going to be that now that we've got uh, foodstuffs arriving here to be transported, what I should really be looking at is getting some trucks rolling on there. Uh, how many have we got on this line? Food, transfer, rapture. How many have we got on there? Three. Yeah, up the tempo there, soldier. We're going to need quite a lot more than that. Uh, so we're using, uh, it was a toss-up between the American horse and the regular horse cart here. And the regular horse cart has got a five extra year on the uh, uh, on the time of service. So I've gone with that. Let's go for five to start with. What the heck route are we looking at? Transfer Rapture. There you go. Get to work. I need you rolling as quickly as possible. Because now that we've got foodstuffs arriving, I was going to say this in full, um... We're now actually in a position to make all of those loss-making uh, wagons actually make some cash. And uh, and once we can get some turnaround going, why haven't you been... You should have been replaced there, Food Delivery Rapture. You genuinely should have. Ah, oh, ah, no, I didn't. I upgraded all of the, uh, all of the fuel wagons because they were actually doing something. Uh, so as you can see, we've got... Or is this just a... It's a full load with an empty one behind it? Well, that's that's plausible, I suppose. Um, anyway, this is... It's going to start working out. In fact, arguably, it already is starting to work out. Uh, because uh, with each ship that departs... And this is only the second one to depart. There's number 11, which was our trailblazer. Um, uh, there's always another one coming up just behind this. We've got 40 on board. That last one that came in... Only had 37, and you kind of go, all right then, this is, uh, we're, we are about to up the tempo. So with that in mind, let's go spend some cash, because that's why you're here. You wanted to see me spend some cash, so we're going to spend some cash. Now, where I never got to last time around was the uh, the Holy Trinity here of Caprica, Moss Eisley, and Shermer, um, because it is a massively uh, populated area just by default. Uh, the towns are overlapping immediately, and therefore it is absolutely rich as far as getting a getting a train line in there. Now the problem is, uh, let's I mean let's just price some of this up. So that's a million for those two bits. Another million, another million. This is if we were to kind of follow the street pattern, and uh, I mean, oh, I'd love to. Oh, this would be absolutely terrific. To you know what? I'm going to. Right. Okay. I'm going to hit the port barrels. Now, this is the only time I'm going to do this for the whole of this run through. I know some of you disagree with it, but I want to make some progress. And this is going to, I mean, this is going to gangbusters the progress. Right. Uh, let's do this at high speed, shall we? Right. First job, find a port barrel. Now, it's just a blur here, but I'm, I'm taking out quite a lot. If you could make out the bank balance, you'd probably spot it. Right. First job, bulldoze everything. Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is good. Yeah, yeah. I just basically need a gully to get through the center of this. That'll, yeah, that'll, that'll probably, that would probably help if I turn this station around a bit. Turn it around. There you go. Good boy. And then what? Will it go there? No. Bulldoze some more. Maybe it will. No, it doesn't want to. Smooth? Nope. Nope. Uh, well, yeah. that'd be nice. Yeah, it would fit really long. Let's like stick it in there and then bulldoze a bit more. Right, smooth out the sides to make it look like that fits. It almost does. Oh, flexi stations, how I have missed you. Uh, obviously, flexi stations with an unlimited bank balance also helps. Yep, makes a mess at that end as well. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah, yeah. is that going to fit? Is it going to work in there? Is it going to fit? Oh, turn the contour tool on. Must be desperate. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll probably fit in there if I just get rid of that's it. Get rid of some more stuff. Right, straight line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. Yeah, link it all up again. Gone with six six tracks. Well, what's the matter with you? Well, I've got an unlimited bank balance. Might as well go for the works, man. All right. Well, okay. If if that's what makes you happy, yeah. Well, it does. Very happy. Right. Got to move this buses out of the way so I can bulldoze that as well. Link all of this up. See how seamlessly this is working? Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Fling that in there. Jolly good. Right. Now, this is going to need some big, uh, beefy road going down the side of it. But before we do that, let's bang this track out a bit further so that the AI doesn't get any clever ideas. Stick it there? No. No, no it's not going to work. That's horrible. Yeah, do that. It's only, only moderately less horrible, I suppose. Uh, yeah, link that up to there. Keep going. Yep, marvellous. Good. Oh, dear. Progress. There we go. Yeah. If you're in the way of the big road, I mean, the big road is the way of the future. That's uh, that's what we're doing here. Start linking all of this business together. And then once we've got... Hmm. Yeah. See, this is a clever idea about doing some kind of turnaround at the end of the track so that I could go out one side and come back the other. And frankly, it looked awful, so we didn't do it. Uh, now, bridging, important business. Uh, Gerda Bridge, well, that's a bit of a change, isn't it? You're all expecting Jolly Green to make a sudden appearance. Don't worry, it won't be long. Uh, is that going to fit over there? Ugly stone. Oh, look at that. Nice Gerda Bridge. Just randomly link roads up. Are they lumpy? Oh, yes, they surely are. But it doesn't really matter because uh, I'm going to say something along the lines of, oh, we'll come back and fix this later. No, we won't. We won't come back and fix this later. If this gets heavily populated, the only thing I'm likely to come back and fix later is upgrade the track and maybe remove any lumps that uh, that happen to appear in it as a result of me being lazy and putting in level crossings rather than proper green jolly bridges, as one should jolly well do. Right, put in the uh, the points at either end so that we can turn the thing around. Uh, yep, that's that's all. That's all looking pretty promising. All right, good. Now what? Gonna need some more cash. Uh, well, okay. Well, you know, as long as you total it up afterwards and are completely honest about how much you've spent, then everything is fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that just oh it's, it's beautiful. Oh, and a bit of a tunnel at the end. Very nice indeed. Oh god, having an infinite bank balance is just the best thing in the whole world. Boy, can you get things done in a hurry. That said, uh, I actually want to play and have to make some money at the same time. I just can't be bothered to wait for long enough to get this done. Did that, was that a level crossing? What's the matter with you? We don't do level crossings because, firstly, they're not level, but they do make you cross because you end up just having infinite amounts of trucks and buses and what have you queuing to get across things. Uh, right, let's clean out all of the old bus routes that we're not going to use anymore. Uh, because uh, otherwise we're going to cannibalise this magnificent new service set up that we've got. No, that's not that's that's not a good path. Another bridge, 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 bridge. Uh, you, ooh, that's nice. Okay, yeah, fling that across there. Link it onto this one. Link that one onto there. Mmm, pacey. Okay, good. Right, Let's drag this out a bit further as well. I think I'll stick the depot down here in a minute. There we go, depot. And uh, yeah, well, okay. Let's do some do some signals with a massive amount of care and attention uh, because otherwise the signal police will be on to you again uh, I don't think you've noticed but you've uh, you're going to set this route up to uh, to go the wrong way uh, I mean it doesn't really matter at this point I mean it's I mean you're going to put a British train on here so uh, so why should you care whether it's which side of the track it goes on you can fix it later anyway right two trains that ought to do it now then let's unpause all of this business and get back to the commentary mm -hmm. Oh boy, that took a long time, and I don't even want to think about how much money that cost. Let's have a look and see how much money that cost. Uh, now, it's saying I've spent 80 million on bulldozing, uh, 17 million on other, okay, uh, 5 million plus on construction costs. So, we've easily burned over 100 million quid there, friends, and, uh, you know, that's, that's not to be sniffed at. But what we've got coming out the other side of that, the steamship ferry, a couple of KK TSBs, STBs, uh, they await us. Um, but what we've ended up with out the other side of things is something really rather splendid. Uh, so we've hooked up Caprica, obviously, and uh, we then head through Moss Eisley here. Uh, I should probably move this bus stop, even though there's nothing waiting. Um, and that's before heading out through a rather goodly, a goodly placed 
<laughs> okay, I suppose you can have that. Uh, a rather nicely placed tunnel uh, that should allow for some, some rather splendid building on the top of there uh, before hitting Shermer. Now, the amount of the population that I have dispossessed here is extensive. Um, yeah, all of this. I remember when all of this was people. And now it's it's not people anymore. I have bulldozed the heck out of it. And obviously, now that I've stuck two trains on there as well, uh, well, we're, we're going to have to wait for this to become really popular. Now, you'll see that I've really over-egged it in terms of the amount of track involved. Uh, I've stuck uh, four stations, four platforms in use, uh, with passing tracks in the middle of there as well. My aim will be... To, uh, to land some uh, some freight in here before too long. Well, I say before too long. Eventually, let's say. Eventually, we'll have freight in here and everybody will rejoice as a result of that. Um, now, let's have a look. I mean, what have we got catchment-wise? Catchment, it's actually pretty good. The amount of catchment you've got going on is not bad at all. We've got a passenger turned up already. That's not bad. Uh, you possibly noticed that I moved the bus stops for, for ongoing services. I could very easily have carried on to Wank Moorpork, but that was not what we agreed. Uh, and therefore, I shall have to pay for that out of my own personal spending money later on. But this shouldn't take forever and a day to start, to, to start paying off. Assuming, and there it is, I was about to say, assuming everyone moves back in, but we've just had a big pop of movement here. Uh, as that replicated further along as well? Yes, some. But it seems like right now where they're, what they're doing is they're clustering around the buildings that remained rather than building along this rather nice new uh, four-lane road that I've built that runs in parallel to the track. Will it pay off eventually? Of course it will. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean it's, it's only a question of how long it's going to take to start paying off. Uh, but it will most certainly... Uh, hit its stride at some point. Now, this is a, a LNWR. LNWR? I think it's an LNWR. How will you be able to tell that? I'll go to vehicles, I'll hover over it. So that's London Northwestern Railway, I'm guessing. I should know that, but actually it's a new one on me. Um, now, I didn't have appropriate wagons, so I went Midland, because that felt like it was it well it would have to go through the likes of uh, of Staffordshire and so forth to uh, to get from uh, from London up to the northwest so i suspect quite strongly that uh, it at least passes through somewhere regionally appropriate purists you may vent now in the comments that's what the comments are there for uh, you would tell me how incorrect i am and how it is blasphemy and the rest of it and uh, and i will nod gravely and take it on board and promptly forget next time that I'm trying to play something that even has any any kind of shred of, uh, of authenticity about it. There you go. That's, that's just one of the services that we provide here. Uh, I'm going to continue connecting up little bits of road as I see them. But that's, that's really good. Now, I hadn't intended to pork barrel anything in this series. But if I was going to do it, this was the one. This would, this would be the thing to spend on. Because it is, I mean, 100 million in 1884 to clear enough space to, uh, to, to get this monster kind of passenger mainline in. Um, now, those passing tracks, I can either use those for express services, quite possible, or more likely to get the freight going in the future. Exactly how I do that, I haven't really thought through. But there's, that should come as no surprise to any of you. Um, We'll figure that one out when the time comes. Has the time come now? No, no, no. We're a, lo we're a long way from the time coming as, as of yet. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get that across there without a tunnel. I mean, the tunnel looks quite nice. What are we talking about? 600 grand? Not worth the money. Let the AI figure it out. Right, let's go down and have a look at the, uh, at the situation over at Food Central and see if we've actually got enough throughput now to be uh, to be sticking some on ships what are you packing five well i ain't gonna get wealthy off five but we have got 72 waiting here and this is another ship inbound now with another 10 on board and then there's another one behind that with another five evidently the queue had started to uh, to slow by that point i had been spending on putting trucks on there to uh, to kind of speed things along but these freight wagons, these early early wagons, they're so painfully slow uh, that you've got a you've got a long time to wait for any of it to happen. 
Nice to see that we've got some uh, some action going as far as end delivery, though. That's all good. So fundamentally, we're pointing in the right direction. Now, I could easily have waited to to make that rather grandiose redevelopment of the of the three cities there. But a hundred million, and I'm making. I mean, let's say optimistically, seven hundred and fifty grand a year. Do we really want to wait 125 years? I don't think we do, do we? So that's it. I'm not pork barreling anymore. Anything else that I build from here on in is going to be paid for personally. And I shall personally pay for it uh, by the enormous quantities of profit that I am going to be generating really soon. And you're going to want to tune in for that, uh, which means that you're going to need to subscribe in order to make sure you don't miss out. This is nice, isn't it? Isn't that nice? I don't know what I'm going to look at. Well, why don't you go and look at the incredibly expensive thing you just built? Uh, because, you know, it's going to start building up passengers any time. Is it, though? Is it really? Okay, give it 10 years and we might possibly make some money out of it. All right, okay, fine. Well, I can, I can offset the cost of this for 10 years. That's not a problem at all. Uh, but we want to be moving as quickly as possible to a point where there is no more requirement to be hanging around. That was, uh, that was half the purpose of this restart, and it's the justification that you're going to use for why you cheated a whole bunch of cash into the system. Is because getting this right will mean... Uh, no further uh, no further investments are required. I'm trying to find a nice angle here. I tell you what a nice angle is. This. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Why are you on the wrong side of the track? Why are you on the wrong side of the track? Are you on the wrong side of the track? I rather think you are on the wrong side of the track. Well, that's life, isn't it? The wrong side of the track for all of us. Uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for watching. And cheerio to you. Was that the plan? No, that was not the plan. The plan was to spend money that I'd made. But was it worth it? Yes. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Now, I think two trains on there might be a little bit optimistic for the time being. So I'll probably end up selling one of those and, uh, and just running one for now in order to build up a little bit of demand while the, uh, while the cities build back out again. Now, the next step is going to be to expand passenger services by rail because it is by far and away the easiest way to make uh, good chunks of cash all at once. I'm going to have to be careful to make sure that I'm not... What's the one I'm looking for? Uh, not overspending on consists or making them too long or too expensive and making sure that the routes that they're running are long enough to, uh, to turn a decent profit. Um, at least uh, the, the, the Moss Eisley to... What's the other one? Moss Eisley, Shermer, and... Oh, uh, Caprica. Uh, at least quite, Caprica to Moss Eisley is a little bit close together, so uh, so straightforward point-to-point -point there is not going to make much. But end-to-end -end on that line should, should work out quite nicely. Anyway, the hope is that this tips me into the region of about a, a million in terms of profit per year, which is more than enough... Uh, to fuel ongoing expansion while land is relatively cheap. As time goes on, that land is only going to get more and more expensive, and as it does, I'm going to have to work harder to do projects of this kind.